Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling. In this session of the video, we're actually going to talk about the swallowing or the deglutition. So what is swallowing or deglutition? It's actually a process in which food is passed from mouth via esophagus into your stomach. Like movement of your food from mouth till the stomach via esophagus is called the deglutition or the swallowing. So this swallowing or the this deglutition is actually divided into three stages. We're going to talk about these three stages that is the oral stage, pharyngeal stage and esophageal stage in just a bit. But first we have to explain the diagram. This is the oral cap. This is the oral cavity. The second one is your nasal cavity. The third one is your nasopharynx. The fourth one is your oropharynx. The fifth one is your hypopharynx. Down to the hypopharynx, you have the esophagus. On the other side of esophagus, you have your trachea. And above there, you have your tongue. And finally, the last structure which I'm going to draw is your epiglottis. Remember the structure because we are going to use them in explaining the uh, swallowing or deglutition. So I have talked about that deglutition or swallowing is divided into three stages. This thing is divided into three stages. The first stage which we call the oral stage. The first stage is the oral stage, the second is the pharyngeal stage, and the third one is the oral uh, esophageal stage. But first talk about the oral stage. What happens in oral stage, you know, after mastic mastication, if your food is mixed with saliva to form a bolus. So this bolus is kind of squeezed or rolled posteriorly, rolled posteriorly into the pharynx by upward by upward movement and backward movement of your tongue so this process this stage in which the bolus is thrown into your pharynx is called the oral stage the second stage which is a little bit lengthy or in detail is called your pharyngeal stage this one is your pharyngeal stage so what happens in your pharyngeal stage, the bolus, you know, as the bolus goes backward, if I kind of, this is your oral cavity like this one, as your bolus goes backward and hits the pharyngeal wall, hits the pharyngeal wall, the swelling receptor area that is posteriorly on the, uh, on the pharyngeal, uh, pharyngeal walls are stimulated and impulses from them go upward via, they go upward via your five, nine and ten cranial nerves cranial nerves to the swelling center in your medu medulla oblongata medulla oblongata all right and they used to go, go to the uh, swelling centers in medulla oblongata so again from there the efferent impulses come down this was the afferent and from here the efferent come down via 5, 7, 9, 10 and 12 cranial nerves and they come down from via these nerves to musculature of pharynx and tongue and 20 muscles are involved in this stage which kind of help in the movement of this bolus into your esophagus so this is actually a highly coordinated specific you know time reflex which actually takes uh, this whole entire you know stage which is your pharyngeal stage actually takes about two seconds so if i'm going to mention it it takes around two seconds to go through and if we're going to talk about the events or these are the events of this stage which is the pharyngeal stage it will be like this if i'm going to explain it in 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 in, 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 a, in a good manner what happens as the bolus uh, what happens as the bolus moves backward the soft pellet is actually pulled upwards 
to close posterior nares and prevent reflex of food into back to your nasal cavity. Like the, the soft palate kind of closes up and, and does not allow the food back to get back into the nasal cavity. Again, after that, the vocal cords are vocal cords found here. This is your vocal cord. The vocal cords are actually also approximated, you know, come, to, uh, come to, down to it. Your larynx, no, this one is not. Your larynx is it, over here, the uh, vocal cord, and your larynx. Larynx is also pulled upward and anteriorly by neck muscles. Your epiglottis, this is your epiglottis, kind of epiglottis swings backward, kind of swings backward and over the opening of larynx. This is the opening of larynx and this is larynx, this is the opening of larynx. So this kind of comes over it and closes it. So as not to allow foot particle to enter, enter into it. And that, uh, that's why over respiration is inhibited. And that's why people say don't talk while you are eating. And uh, this is it and how this goes close up and the food gets down into your esophagus. And final from the, as food enters into the esophagus, the third stage starts, which is called the esophageal stage. The third stage is esophageal stage. What happens in esophageal stage is simply, the esophagus simply, you know, functions to conduct food from your pharynx to your stomach, from pharynx to your stomach. So it actually exhibits kind of two type of peristal, peristal, peristal it kind of take about two peristaltic movements that is the primary peristaltic movement and the secondary peristaltic movement peristaltic movement so what happened in the prim primary peristaltic movement so primary peristalsis is actually the continuation of your peristaltic wave that actually begin in the pharynx and is spread to your to your esophagus so this is added by the effect of gravity in an upright person and the primary parasitic wave actually does not function as much and it's not that much strong and fails it because it cannot it cannot it cannot or it fails to move the bolus into your stomach in case of very large bolus or improperly masticated bolus or improperly lubricated or dry bolus. For that, we need an other peristaltic, peristaltic uh, uh, movement, which is secondary peristaltic movement, which is actually stimulated by the irritation or distension of your esophagus, and which conti which continues the food to go all the way to your what you call to your uh, stomach. <clears throat> So this is all the uh, three stages of uh, swallowing or deglutination and this is the basic idea of uh, all the concept. Please make sure to visit Tykes is Cooling and there's the www.tykeschooling.com and please make sure to subscribe to our channel and keep visiting Tykes is Cooling.